Good afternoon. This is John Bushka. Um, I just want to have, have a discussion today about the fact that um, Texas also passed a law requiring, you know, making sites, commercial porn sites, that is sites with more than, with one third or more of their content um, viewed, uh, viewed as pornography. Um, subject to liability and I'll there it was struck down by a federal judge there's a big story on verge about it along with the story that gives the backgrounds in several other states and other story the states that so far have these laws are Utah Louisiana um, Louisiana Virginia Arkansas Texas and Mississippi and the Texas judge was very specific in mentioning COPA, the Child Online Protection Act uh, that was overturned in 2007. And he also mentioned um, the fact that te the Texas sodomy law 2106, which I remember very well from living in Texas back in uh, you know, back in the 1980s, um, was still on the books, even though Lawrence versus Texas would overwrite it. So that's a very interesting situation. Um, so it will probably be appealed, but I just wanted people to know about the situation. Um, remember that um, also this, there's a couple of other things. The sodomy, remember this, laws like the sodomy law and contraception and so forth um, they're they're dependent on substantive due process in the constitution and alito under you know the supreme court undermined that in 2022 when it overturned roe versus wade and that's what's driving activists into trying to define more people as, as marginalized groups so they can be protected a different way under equal protection that isn't really good for that isn't really good for public policy or very good for personal freedom um that that it would work that way because that tends tends to tribalize people um also just on another matter i just wanted to mention yeah um i don't think minors except in very rare cases should get should interfere with our normal growth or puberty or get treatment and like except in very a very narrow range of cases where it's really medically necessary, and it it isn't necessary often enough that it would need to be politicized if it was done properly, and if it, if the evidence the evidence was proper. But um, laws that make all gender affirming care for minors illegal in Texas, if they don't allow the exception for care that had already started, might run afoul of the Constitution with ex post facto law. So I wanted to mention that. 